Hello everybody, today we're going to be making the pupusas um, recipe and over here I already got my ingredients. Uh, right here I have one pound of chicharron and this is the kind we use for the pupusas um, but I bought this one too and I just cut uh, the meat from the chicharron and remove the skin and I mix them together. I cut them in little pieces like this, that way they can fit in my grinder and it's right here. Um, you can use the electrical one if you have an electrical ones. Uh, over here I have a consomme de pollo. There will be like chicken flavor. I got two teaspoons of that. I have a half of onion over here and I have a small tomato right here. Two garlics and one poblano pepper, which is this one. And over here I have the the flour that we're going to be using for the pupusas, it's uh, six cups of uh, maseca. And if you're doing one pound of chicharron, you can only use uh, five pounds of maseca and um, get like 20, 21 pupusas. Uh, but I'm going to be doing half and half, uh, half of chicharron and half of mixed with beans. And I have my beans over here. It's one cup, uh, but I might use only half. Um, of fried beans and I fry my beans only with uh, one piece of onion and uh, one garlic uh, and I put one teaspoon of uh, consomme de pollo or chicken flavor and over here uh, I'm gonna say the ingredients in Spanish too. Aquí tengo las, um, el chicharrón para las pupusas. Yo tengo una libra. Este es el chicharrón que se usa para las pupusas. Um, Y yo también compro este, pero a este solo le quito la carne y le quito el skin de aquí. Y los corto en, en pedacitos de estos para que quepan en mi molino. Aquí tengo el molino de mano. Pero si tienen un eléctrico, you can use el, el eléctrico. Aquí tengo uh, dos teaspoons de, de consomé de pollo. Tengo la mitad de una cebolla mediana. Tengo dos ajos y tengo un tomate chico. Tengo aquí un poblano de estos y aquí tengo mis frijoles ya refritos que nomás los refreí con poquita cebolla y un ajo y, y una teaspoon de, de consomé. Aquí tengo ya la maseca que voy a estar usando para, para hacer las pupusas, ¿ok? So empezamos. We're going to start. Ok, I'm starting by... Uh, Putting my chicharrón over here in this bigger container. Uh, el chicharrón lo voy a poner en esto, revolver todo. So now I'm going to put a half of onion right here. La mitad de la cebolla. One tomato, the small tomato. Tomato chico. Uh, two garlics of, uh, two garlics. And my poblano chile right here and I just mix it and don't forget to wash your hands real good all the time before we cook. This is how it looks when we already mix everything. So we're going to be leaving uh, the consomme for later. Okay, we're going to start uh, grinding all the chicharron and the vegetables together. Okay, I have it ready over here. So I just gonna finish mixing all the vegetables. Like you see, it looks like it's a masa. And now is the time to put the chicken flavor. Uh, ahora es el tiempo de poner el consomme. So now we keep on mixing the chicharron over here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna separate um, half of the chicharron and I'm gonna put it in the plate. And I'm going to be mixing the beans over here, like I told you, okay? So that way we can do some pupusas uh, mixed with beans and chicharron. And we can do chicharron by itself, okay? So this is for 
for the chicharron only and these ones are going to be mixed okay so we're going to be mixing the beans like you see the beans are real fry looks like a masa and we're going to start mixing it okay so i'm going to be mixing all the chicharron together with the beans over here we have the chicharron over here it's probably like more than one cup and we got the beans together with the meat with the chicharrón over here, ok so aquí están las revueltas que le puse una taza de frijoles fritos a, a la mitad de chicharrón que, que hicimos de una libra y aquí está la otra mitad que nos salió del, del chicharrón so vamos a hacer de chicharrón solo y de revueltas de frijoles con chicharrón, ok ok, now I'm going to start by mixing the flour for, for the pupusas and over here I got six cups of water and right here one more cup in case we need it. So I'm going to start mixing, okay, the masa and then we start doing the pupusas. And by the way, this is warm water, okay? And always wash your hands before you do this. So I finished mixing my flour. Terminé de amasar la masa. Si ven cómo está. Así se mira. Y, y lo que usé de agua fue a uh, cinco y tres cuartos. Ok, I'm going to start by making the chicharrón ones. Voy a empezar con las de chicharrón. So así es como se hace la, la pupusa. Se le hace un hoyito aquí a la masa. Then you put the chicharrón over here and put it together like this. Cut the top and then keep on putting it together. And you can always put water on your hand so it doesn't get sticky. There you go. There goes one. And you can make her, make them bigger if you if you want them bigger or smaller. It's up to you. You see how I open the little hole right there, and now I put the chicharrón in here. And cut the top. Put water on your hand so it doesn't stick. Right there. We're going to turn them out three times. So that's the first turn for that one. And this one too. Uh, le vamos a dar tres vueltas para que se cocinen. Aquí está la otra. Here's the other one. Y estas tienen la primera vuelta. So this ones have the first turn. So then we flip them over again. Let's see if this one is almost done. Almost, almost. Okay, I'm done doing the, the ones of the chicharrón, so I'm going to start the ones of um, chicharrón mixed with beans, okay? And this is how they look. Okay, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a capo uh, in a different way for the people that, that begins how to do the pupusas. So voy a enseñarles de un método uh, fácil cómo hacer uh, las pupusas para la gente que empieza. 
porque yo sé que es difícil hacerla. So, agarramos nuestra bolita de masa así. Siempre agarren agüita para que no se pegue la mano. Ok, aquí estamos. Le abrimos el hoyito así. Ok, y le ponemos el chicharrón aquí. Ahora este es chicharrón misteado con frijoles. Ok, a little more que tenga bastante. I like them with a lot of fill, uh, filling inside. And we cut, like you see. Okay, water. I think this one is gonna come out big. So we put the plastic right, uh, we put this right here with the plastic. This is a plastic. And put the other plastic on top like this. Oops. And smash it over here. La aplastamos con una tabla y un plástico. Y ahí está nuestra pupusa. Y, y el chicharrón se, se riega por todos lados. Muy bien, queda muy bien. So it's right there. One pupusa right there. So we're going to make another one with the plastic and the board. That way you can see. And this is for the younger people. So just fold it like this. Remove the extra masa. With my hands so it doesn't stick. Put it over here on the plastic. And we're squishing, but not too hard, okay? Do it soft. And you make it as uh, thick you want it. Squish a little bit more. There you go. Do you see? And then we do this, and we we'll put it in the coma. And it's right there. Another pupusa. You see how it how easy it's to make them. There you go. Like you see, uh, I end up making uh, ten pupusas de chicharrón, and I end up making um, fourteen of uh, beans and chicharrón mix. And uh, with the leftover mass, I end up making three tortillas. Okay. And this is the way I presented. Um, with the uh, curtido, which I already put the video to. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you like it.